Joining us now is Senator Barbara Boxer, Democrat from California. Senator Boxer, it's a real pleasure to have you on the show tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me, Rachel. Senator Nelson just told me that uh, he cut down admittedly stimulative spending out of this bill um, simply because there was a lot of it um, and it would have produced a lot of stimulus but he didn't want to spend it despite the fact that it would be effective what's your reaction to that well I listened to the interview and I bumped into Ben on the way out look here's the bottom line Rachel the bottom line is 60 votes the Republicans are making us get 60 votes we have 58 Democrats. We know Senator Kennedy as well. He did come back for this vote, for which I say thank you, Ted. And we don't know what's going to happen yet in Minnesota, we're hoping. So we have to get some Republicans to join us. And at the end of the day, uh, this is a bill that is going to add a lot of spending to this economy. Uh, it's not going to be a trillion dollars that's been lost from it, but it's $800 billion, and therefore, we needed to get these Republican votes. And if I wrote it my way, believe me, it would look different. If you wrote it your way, I think it would look a little bit more like my way. <laughs> but that's just not what we're dealing with. We have to deal with reality. I'm so glad the president did this town hall. I'm so glad that he held this press conference, which was so in-depth, because he's the best teacher. He's, he, you know, he is a teacher, and he really explains it to the American people. Change is everywhere, but somehow it didn't get to the United States Senate. Mm. Quite. Not quite. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're going to have to do some things that we don't want to do, but we need to get going. And I'm no expert on, 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 set, on Senate math, on getting to 60 votes and on all the procedures and the techniques that you guys use in order to get laws made. It's not my <laughs> area of expertise. I've, I've been paying more attention to the policy side of it, and I have to say that I don't understand why Tom Coburn, for example, can get an amendment passed, added, get the legislation changed to take out uh, tax incentives for movie production companies, even though those would be very stimulative, when everybody knows that Tom Coburn's not going to vote for this thing in a million years. That amendment makes the bill worse and doesn't earn any Republican votes. Well, if I listen to you, it's, it's kind of what you're saying is, uh, I won't vote for your amendment unless you vote for the bill. And right. it really doesn't, doesn't it really that doesn't work that way. No. It, it really doesn't work that way. And so, I, I believe me, when that happened, it was out of the blue because it did. You're absolutely right. We, we really were just equalizing the field for the filmmakers. And he, they, they don't like Hollywood. And so, whenever you mention Hollywood, it's a buzzword. And so, people vote against Hollywood for whatever reason, even though they go to the movies <laughs> and thank God they were into the movies because that's good for my state and my state is struggling otherwise but I can file this one under it's sort of dumb but this is the way politics works well I think you file it under I'll never understand the Senate <laughs> because trust me when I started to understand the Senate I thought "Uh oh <laughs> maybe I've been here too long <laughs> but Very you good. really it does have uh, an ebb and a flow to it and at this point, what's really important, as I said before, is to get a bill done because this is an unprecedented moment in history. And, and I will say something interesting that no one's brought out, but I thought about it a lot today. John McCain led a lot of the opposition on the Senate floor. You know, I think it's great that, he, that he's out there because he did lose and it has to hurt and he's out there. But what happened is, at the end of the day, the Senate decided to go with the person who won the presidency, Barack Obama, over John McCain, and with the supermajority that they forced us to get, just barely. I'm very disappointed that they're forcing us to get 60 votes, 60 votes, 60 votes. The country wants change. They will not allow it to happen without huge fights, but we're going to have to have those fights. That's it. Well, 60 votes is a specific threshold for a specific reason. Um, they are, that means they are filibustering oh, yes. everything on which they're asking yes. for 60 votes. Why not take that power away from them if they're abusing it? Well, I mean, I think you asked that question earlier. Why not make them stand on their feet through the night? I'm in favor of that. I think that would be a good idea because that's the old-fashioned filibuster. Yeah. But we, uh, in order to move this along faster, made some time agreements. The main thing for us right now uh, is to get this done. I mean, I've said that over and over again. And, you know, to do nothing 
to me, is a hostile action against the American people. To do nothing isn't a passive act. It's just saying the status quo is fine. Let's just look at job loss. This month, last month, the month before, millions of jobs lost uh, over last year, uh, millions of families worrying, struggling, frightened. We have to move forward. And we did have a good day today. And you know, you're right to say school construction should have stayed in there, absolutely should have stayed in there. But on the other hand, if the choice is nothing, and a stimulus bill minus a few things that we think are good. We got to take the stimulus bill. Try to fix it in conference. If we can hold our Republican friends, we have to hold them and move forward and live to fight another day. That's that's the way it is. It's you know, if you want my way or the highway, the Senate is not the place for you. I could tell you that. <laughs> well, just as long as everybody in the Senate knows that we're all paying very close attention Good. to everything you guys do. Attention must be paid. <laughs> Indeed. Senator Barbara Boxer of California, thank you so much for making time for us tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up, did a